Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very important relationship or you can say property related to convex hull and support vector machine. Okay, and this particular property is frequently asked in interview process for machine learning or data science post. Okay, so try to understand this particular concept with clear concept. Okay. So what is convex hull? So before going to that, let me just show you two polygon. Okay, here you can see here one data point, here one data point, here one data point, here one data point, here one and here one more. Now the same data points I have taken here, suppose. Okay, now you need to join these data points. Okay, now there are several way to join these data points here. I have shown two of them. Now the concept is what is the difference in between these two? There are many other possibilities of joining these data points also, but consider these two and tell me what is the difference? See the difference is all the diagonals for this particular polygon in this particular diagram are inside the polygon itself. But here for this type of joining all the diagonals are not inside the polygon like here you can see this particular diagonal is outside the poly polygon so that it is called concave okay and convex is convex connection is nothing but when all the diagonals will be inside the polygon okay so I hope this concept is clear to you now in geometry the convex hull or convex envelope of a shape is the smallest convex set that contains it. Okay, try to understand. It should be the smallest convex part. Okay, so what you can, uh, how you can understand the convex hull? That simply you just try to understand like this. It is a convex envelope. Okay, for your data set, but it should be the smallest one. Okay, that is having the smallest area. Okay, like for example, here I am taking the same uh, shape, same data point where one simple smallest convex connection can be shown like this. But one more convex connection for the same data point which are basically placed here, okay, uh, can be shown like this. This is here one connection, 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 this is here one connection. And in between these two, suppose it is connected like this. Now in this case also, basically if you just uh, draw it properly, all the diagonals will be inside the polygon only, but it is not the smallest one. Like if you draw like this, okay, all the uh, diagonals will be inside this particular polygon, but the problem is that, let me just erase this part, yes, this particular uh, polygon which is drawn is not the smallest one, smallest one is this one, right? So we will be calling this as convex hull. So this is the very important part, smallest convex set or smallest convex polygon, whatever we can draw in our data set, that will be called as convex hull, okay? Now what is the relationship? Why we are studying this particular thing in machine learning where this is actually concept belonging to image processing. It is widely used if you have done digital image processing course. I hope you know this, right? So basically, uh, what is the relationship uh, in between convex hull and support vector machine? Let us try to understand. The theorem which is very, very important is two sets. Okay, that is two set of data points are linearly separable if and only if their convex hulls does not intersect okay or there is no overlap region for their convex hull okay then only there will be linear separability between two data set otherwise we need to follow rbf that is radial basis function or Gaussian kernel or polynomial kernel of order more than 2, more than equal to 2, okay? So when you should use linear kernel, that is if for your data set that uh, their, the data, data set's convex hull do not overlap or do not intersect, okay? Now I hope you can intuitively understand 
they are called polylate this convex hull concept with SVM but obviously this concept will be clear if we just visualize the same theorem using some simulation and for that I have written one simple code let me just show you that simulation okay so what I have done here I have tried to implement convex hull in MATLAB and I have not written any code from scratch to implement convex hull in MATLAB, the inbuilt function is confal. That's all. You just need to pass the data point and it will, it will be giving you the index for which convex hull uh, data point will come. Okay. And you can see or explore about uh, convex hull mode, how to implement that from this particular documentation. Just to search confal MATLAB and you will be getting this documentation. Okay. Now let me show you how, how I have written the code. So here I am basically taking 10 data points using mouse click okay so I have written G input 1 each time I'll be taking 1 1 data point okay and then I am putting all those in P matrix which I have defined here as empty matrix and I am plotting that each time okay with star line style and marker size 15 so that I am making this bigger so that it is easily feasible okay and then I am uh, determining the convex, convex hull of those of that data set P. So this is basically my one class you can consider the star class. Okay. And I am plotting the convex hull. Okay. And then another class I am taking input because binary classification I need to visualize. And that time same 10 data points I am taking but now here I, I have given circular line style with green color. Previously it was red color line style, uh, red color uh, star line style and another class is green color circular line style okay and you will try to visualize this particular same concept and here itself i have drawn the same font vexal and then plotting that okay so control a and evaluate selection so here if i just run this code i'll be getting uh, this particular window with this particular mouse cursor and you can give user mouse input okay so here i have just clicked and first start came and like that, I am basically taking randomly uh, some data points, okay, for my this particular simulation part, right? So here I am taking 10 data points. And if you just join this 10 uh, star, which is belonging to our one particular class using convex, you will be getting this. Point to be noted, this particular star is not coming on the convex hull boundary because if you just join this and this then this particular uh, diagonal will basically come outside the polygon okay? so this particular star it will not consider while creating the convex hull so this matlab will uh, determine by the backend code okay now i am taking second set so it will be green color circular form right so three i have taken then four maybe here one i am taking five six seven and here 10 okay now see this one is forming uh, for convex hull for our another data set which is green color okay many data points are coming inside polygon they will be they will uh, it matlab will not consider those for creating convex hull okay now you just try to visualize this our data set if we just plot the convex hull they are convex hull are basically intersecting right here you can see they are intersecting so we can conclude that we cannot separate these two uh, data set using linear kernel okay and it is quite clear see you cannot draw any single linear kernel which basically separate our these two class one possible is drawing polynomial kernel observe the mouse pointer and like this way if some polynomial kernel goes it will separate our this red data point and uh, green uh, data point okay there is two separate class but as the convex hulls are intersecting so it is not at all possible that uh, with 100 percent accuracy our linear kernel will uh, basically divide these two data set okay now let me show you one more case where data sets are basically uh, having no common intersection in their convex hull okay again i am taking my first uh, set of uh, points which is basically red class and another one is green class i am taking see i am uh, taking very close to my red class some green points okay but see this is my 
convex sulfur green set and this is my convex sulfur sulfur red set you can clearly understand that here one perfect uh, hyperplane can be passed between these two data set which can uh, classify uh, or divide these two data points okay and one margin also can be formed which we, which is uh, generally uh, implemented in svm classifier right we have one margin and we try to maximize the margin so here there is possibility uh, of implementing svm using linear kernel because their convex hulls are not intersecting okay so i hope you have understood this and this visualization will help you to understand the concept i think uh, it will be helpful to you so remember this particular concept that two set of data points are linearly separable if and only if their convex hulls does not intersect okay if their convex hull intersects then obviously they will be separable perfectly separable 100% separable if and only if you use polynomial kernel or gaussian kernel or rbf kernel okay so i hope the concept is clear to you this is all for my this video code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching